Hey, just got done working out. Build your life resume. Hey, this has got some good stuff. Jesse Etzler did a, uh, a course on build your life resume. What he says is everyone has a machine. You're, if you walk someone across the street, you're building your kindness machine. You know, if you're driving in traffic and you're angry and you're mad, you're building your patience machine. You know, when you're when you you're presented with a, a Snickers in front of you and you, you turn it down, you're building your body machine. Dwayne Wade uh, bringing in some uh, egg white bites. Let's go, baby. We're gonna. All right, let's wake him up. Wake him up. Knock. Dwayne. Dwayne, open up. I got egg white bites. What is going on? I got egg white bites. Well, uh, <laughs> he didn't like my more than an athlete uh, or my latter LeBron uh, energy or green, so I guess more egg whites for me. <laughs> that's pretty Hey, that's pretty good. I huh? was so no, it was actually my door. I didn't even knock on his door, but was he people were like, last "Well, yeah, they're playing tonight." So he, yeah, he got in last night. How funny! People were like, "Dude, you knocked on his door." I'm like, "You know how like, I roll." Like, he didn't want to be filmed. He wanted to be filmed. But yeah. Hey, <laughs> uh, second meeting of the day. Uh, would have been my third meeting of the day, but Dwayne Wade didn't want to hang out, which I understand. So uh, going to meet my director of uh, engineering. Yeah, at breakfast at one of my favorite spots, The Grange. Let's go. Let's crush Friday. I actually came across another one yesterday that we might be able to use, but this one has lots of PDF functionality. Really what I was going to focus on for this weekend is just how do I extract all the data from an RPA. So California Association of Realtors comes out with data reports all the time, right? All of the associations, but let's just focus on California. We could do a lot of things just with that data for learning, findings, mm -hmm. and even maybe publishing white papers as well. Yes. Yeah, one of our yeah. big things a client is at, a couple clients, a lot of our, is asking to merge documents. So I want the capability to merge myself, not for you to do it automatically. I wanna, just like we split documents, I wanna click a button that says merge. Right, and yeah. so that's where I think we, okay. we truly go faster, okay. is engaging people to the level where like, until we started talking a couple of days ago about this idea here, I had no idea that something as simple as this would have people's faces lighting up. Sure. But it does. Yeah, it's that, it's that connection to, oh, now I see how there's something I can actually do here that will truly move the needle. One of the things that we found with our transaction coordinating business is something that happens offline that we can bring into our application, natural hazard. Why can you not have, in my opinion, the Amazon methodology of clicking a button and it doing something? When we built this out, we said, okay, one, why should an agent, we, our product is a, a product that agents use. We have around 200,000 agents that use our software. And we said, why should an agent have to go outside of our platform and order this through one of many companies? There's not a standardization and ordering it in some of these websites, as you can imagine, is like super cumbersome. You're doing dual entry. And so we said, we already know the property address. We already know the jurisdiction. We already know a lot of that data. Why don't we make an Amazon type of experience where you can click a button and you're done? And we'll have all the providers. We did that with nat uh, natural hazard disclosure and it's growing literally doubling month over month. It's, it's doing very well. We also now are just releasing the home warranty portion. So I've been in a lot of meetings with product on home warranty. Um, we have a lot of best practices that we learn from natural hazard. I wanna make sure we do this right um, where we just hit a home run for the agent. And we're having um, a discussion, more like a debate. Um, and I want, you know, who I call. I call the number one realtor <laughs> I know. So what if escrow sent an email to the client, your client, that was giving them education that said buyer 101? How would you respond to that? You're in escrow, by the way. You're, you're in Overstepping in line. Overstepping the line. Exactly what I said. Yeah. You're, you're in escrow. You're like, why are you dancing in my lane? I can educate my buyer myself get out of my way, and I don't even agree with your content that you said, get out of my way. Yeah. yeah. Denise, and actually, what, actually what I, you know me, because I'm pretty strong. Oh, yes. I'd be like, you either quit sending this or I quit using you. Yeah. yeah exactly what I yeah. said. And this is why I think this industry is the hardest industry. It's our biggest challenge in product. It's like how to get knowledge of, of real estate. Everyone does things different, and it's crazy. So what an agent should do is... They write an agreement on an eight page real estate purchase agreement. They send it off. If you wanted to counter, well, technically you should be using a counter offer agreement. That sometimes happens, but sometimes an agent will just put it on an addendum. Your data model would pick that up if that was the best use case. However, 
every agent does it different. A home run is just finding the property in the broker's eyes. And then the status is like, oh my gosh, this is cool. And the which side of this is like, oh my, I can see this as I search. And the last five transactions I looked at, oh, oh my, they're freaking out, right? Maureen, I know I look sweaty. I'm running, I'm doing that work. Hey, I'm by your new building. Congrats. Looking forward to seeing you grow. What a great location. So it's so it's it's meeting the needs of um, virtual agents mm -hmm. who want to come in and have a, a space to call home, but yep. they don't want to have an office. Right. It's meeting the needs of agents that want a defined workstation, yep. but they don't need a, a big office. Right. And it's also meeting the needs of the agents that have that want offices, yep. whether it's workstation or. Uh, office and then we'll have another 25 virtual. So I was in uh, high school, you hear like put your, you know, your, your crushes here. And I think I had Britney Spears in mind or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Here. Cool. Um, this building has the high, fastest Wi-Fi, I guess, in Sacramento. Oh, um, get out of here. We have fast Wi-Fi. Right, we probably don't, but. <laughs> um, okay. It is your dedicated oh, spot. Okay. If wow. you don't want that. We can do a demo at your office in like yeah. three, cool. three days. What, what else do you guys do? We do water machines. You have like cold brew on tap? <laughs> we do not have cold brew. Do you do nitro? Nitro? <laughs> nitro brew on tap? Like, I have to ask. <laughs> Maureen and I have stayed in contact. They're, uh, they're all their market centers, I guess they call it. Um, we use SkySlow. But we've just built great rapport, and she's fantastic. And uh, it's always important to stay connected to your users, um, to the brokers, the owners. Um, she'll call me for advice. I'll call her for, hey, you know, can I send my team out? to learn how your admins do things. And so we've just maintained a really great relationship. She, I think, hit a home run as far as the design and who she's going after for the target market of, of the Realtors that she's looking for. Um, yeah, I think it's super cool. And just so everyone's clear, Christine Foster said she had an appointment at 11. I like to give her crap. She runs marketing. Um, her appointment's at Bottle and Barlow. She's gonna get a haircut, so <laughs> don't, don't fool us, Christine. We know where you're going. <laughs> the normal me would be mad, but the new me's like, I'm just, I'm patient. 2019, I'm just building my patience machine. Hey, go ahead. You know, you got a waste management, do you. I'm not mad, I'm relaxing. It's all good. It's all good. How to make fart noise in Tesla. You're behind me now. Listen to Tesla's six farting noises on demand. Yeah, how do I do it? Patience machine is running a little dry right now. Fingers crossed right here, fingers crossed. I know I was building the patience machine. I'm still doing that. Oh yeah, look at us. This guy thought he got us. <laughs> Ooh, that's called innovation right there. Be aware and say the machine's getting stronger. I'm telling you, I went and ran this morning to the gym normally didn't it was cold but you know what I said the machine's getting stronger the machine is getting stronger